Hi Leo, I'm Sharf and welcome to the channel and um, this is your romance vlog for March. I'm sorry I was a bit late but there is a lot of changes happening and the cyber family is growing rapidly which is great and um, uh, uh, I'm really happy about that and thank you to all my cyber angels that keep on returning and sharing with family and friends and give us the thumbs up and um, if you would like uh, an extensive reading then go and have a look at just below the video for all the information or have a look on at the white dot just there that will take you to the website and then you can get and get all the information from there. I'm using Archangel Michael's deck and I'm using the Angel Feather deck and I'm also using the Angel Romance te uh, Oracle deck and here we go for you my darlings I hope you're doing well and uh, just a, a, a bit of news so my introduction will be in Dutch and in English um, Monday nights and Friday nights I will be going live and there will be a weekly vlog uh, with a, an absolute a realistic witch she's Dutch and um, we are going to discuss uh, what are witches, uh, what do witches do, it's very interesting, I've had a lot of positive reactions and I'm also using the House of Shadows from Monica Boginski and it's a beautiful deck, if you like the Adams Family you will like this deck okay, um, ooh, this one is flipping out oh sorry, didn't, there you go flipping out and this one has flipped out and cancer had that one as well um, okay this deck is 42 cards so it's extended um, and here we go you can watch the or see the review have a look in the playlist for introducing new decks or reviews do my reviews and it will uh, you can see it from there it's a beautiful deck and there's more decks coming more reviews coming so go and have a look at the video uh, news and updates or updates and news there you can get all the new messages so the English language life is Monday and Friday I'm just going to translate this in Dutch and then I'll start the reading so you can sip through if you do not want to listen to this please subscribe uh, <coughs> you will you know the rigmarole please subscribe and hit that button and hit the bell if you want to be notified if you don't want to be notified please subscribe and it will be saved in your library and then it will be easier to find uh, this channel again okay love you all enjoy this and I'm sorry I'm a little bit late Okay, hallo iedereen en welkom Cyber Engelen, uh, mijn trouwe volgers, dankjewel om weer terug te zijn. En dit is jullie uh, romansvlog voor maart. En uh, even wat nieuwtjes, uh, dit, deze video is in Engels, maar uh, de, uh, even een uitleg is uh, omdat er nieuwe dingen gaande zijn. Kijk even naar de video nieuws en updates, want daar legt ook uit wat er allemaal nieuw is. Alsjeblieft uh, word uh, lid en klik, uh, klik op de knop lidmaatschap en klik op de bel als je genotificeerd wilt worden wanneer ik live ga. En uh, natuurlijk alsjeblieft even delen naar, met familie en vrienden. En vertel ze dat er ook nu een, een A, Nederlandse avond is. En je kan ook een super chat of een super sticker doen. Dat is na een donatie beantwoord ik je vraag. Met drie uh, kaarten en een orakelkaart. Wil je een uitgebreide lezing? Ga dan even naar de website. Je kan ook hier op dat knopje, dat witte knopje drukken. Dan word je gelijk omgeleid naar de website. Um, er zijn verschillende mogelijkheden voor een lezing te krijgen. En er is ook een leuke aanbieding van als je een, een, een uitgebreide lezing neemt. Dan kan je een goedkopere lezing krijgen of een update krijgen binnen de zes maanden. Voor natuurlijk een lagere prijs. 
Het is ook zo dat uh, je kan de lijn springen. Dat bedoel je, uh, als ik live ga, dan kan je ook voorrang krijgen als je een donatie doet. En uh, dan kan je ook gelijk een kleine lezing krijgen. Dat is de lol van Super Chat. En dat is dan, ik heb het speciaal ook gedaan, uh, Super Chat, om um, mensen de mogelijkheid te geven om een vraag te stellen. Uh, want ik probeer voor elke portemonnee uh, een mogelijkheid te geven om een lezing te krijgen. Al is het klein. En in de live hebben we vrije kaarten. Zo doe lekker mee in de live sessie en kijk of de kaart die je krijgt resoneert met jou. En dat is juist de lol van YouTube. Uh, er zijn ook meer mogelijkheden. Uh, heb je een andere vraag, dan kan je die ook stellen via e-mail. En je kan de informatie onder deze video uh, vinden. Uh, e-mail, een donatieknopje, enzovoort, enzovoort. Of op dat kleine witte rondje drukken, net hier, dat in het scherm verschijnt als uh, de video loopt. Oké, okay, even delen alsjeblieft. Uh, blijf delen en laat mensen weten dat er ook een, een YouTube kanaal is die Nederlands spreekt live. En uh, ik hoop je te zien in de live sessie en anders in de volgende video. En geef ook even de duimpjes op. Dat houdt als ook in de zoekopdrachten uh, met de robot. Nou ga ik terug naar Engels en jullie kunnen altijd de ondertiteling aanzetten eh, omdat een Engels is een internationale uh, taal en daarom kunnen ja, Chinezen, Japanse, Indische, o Australische mensen rond de hele wereld kunnen ook dan de ondertiteling aanzetten. Daarom doe ik het in Engels. Okidoki, hier gaan we dan. Jullie... Uh, So first of all, now we're going to get started. Your first card is separation. Uh, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. This doesn't mean uh, a divorce. This means that he might go on a business trip or he might go away with mates or he might go on a fishing trip or he might uh, go and well every day there is a separation. It could be from one hour to a couple of days or weeks. Uh, with regard to work or with a hobby. So there will be time, uh, you will be separated for a little bit of time. What it makes the heart grow fonder? <laughs> All right. Then you have the star. The star means that your wish or goal is coming true. So be careful what you wish for. And what, uh, what, uh, what, so be definitely um, careful what you wish for. Yes, that's what my mum used to say. Because you will get it. The wishes do come true, but you can also, uh, or your goal can come true. But you have to take action nine times out of ten. Like if you wish a new job, or if you wish to get married, make a visionary board and download pictures from Google or get an old magazine. If you want to modernize your home, if that is your wish, then make a visionary board. This is another way of manifesting. Um, because you can also meditate on your wish. So let the angels and the universe know. Right, now that is the clarification card on the separation. Perhaps you wish to go with him. So make get pictures of traveling suitcases uh, a car or an airplane or perhaps you wish to go on holiday so start making this visionary board and put it somewhere that you can see it a couple of times a day and just to remind the universe what you want so make very clear what you want then in the second week which is this week and remember this can this energy can flow throughout the month Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So, if you want to take the next step, yes, you have the key in your own hand. Look at this. The angels have given you an angel number, 3-3. You can make it work. 
so you can open the door to the next level you can open door the doors to positivity and you can close doors on negativity the balance will be back because 3 in 3 is 6 and that means balance something is coming in equilibrium this could be the one if you're not if you're not hooked up then this could be the one you'll be meeting a new person and this will be the one so give this relationship a chance okay you've already met each um, uh, sorry you've already met the romantic partner you seek Wow that could be the reason why you're being separated because it is like a traffic light relationship it's just a friendship so if you want to make this friendship absolutely positive and long-lasting then give this relationship a chance but make it clear open the door make it clear to your partner that you wish to see him more often and go steady you've got the tower so this is telling me yes you want a steady relationship you want to take it to the next level because the tower is high it also means a mature man so it could in this deck according to this um, uh, author so it could be a mature man and the tower in Lenamon has a different meaning basically it also means um, ambition this person could be ambitious you are ambitious if you want to take this uh, relationship to a next level whether you've been together for a while or long term or just new you are ambitious ambitious means that you are going for it you want to reach the top you want to get together it could be with a mature man or you might be seeking advice from a mature man on how to open the door for the next step 1 and 9 is 10 so that means an end of a phase so that means that uh, to me in the romance reading that you are stopping a phase from going out with each other you're making it known to him by opening or her by opening the door to the next level but don't forget other people that are around you like family and friends because when you reach the top you would like to uh, unite both your present family and your future family which is your partner there is a new beginning on the horizon it might have taken you a long time because the tower is high so that's how I interpret it as well it might have taken you a long time to get to this point but it you will have what you are wishing for because you are reaching for the top and success I do keep it in mind though the meaning from uh, the tarot um, the tower means there unexpected changes something was not built on a proper foundation well this tower is built on a pr proper foundation it's not falling down like in the tarot so make sure that this relationship is built on proper foundations and reach for the top release your ex though if you've had a relationship before you must release the past the time has come to clear your energy otherwise it will not work this relationship and if you've been together for a long time and you are a bit apprehensive to take the next step then learn from the past learn from the past for example to build a friendship which is because if you have a friendship then the relationship will be built on a proper foundation because you know what they like and you they know what you like so boom there you've you've done with the past in the in the past you might have not had a proper foundation and that's where it went wrong so take that from the past and release the past there might be a reunion or a family gathering like I said don't forget the people around you that love you and support you because you want this re uh, you want to bring unit unite uh, what you say unity you want to bring this unity and the unity comes from the word re uh, re uh, reuniting uh, reunion 
So there could be a reunion with family and friends and your new love. Awesome. Because the garden means uh, parties, gatherings, presentations. In the general sense, it's presentations, uh, gatherings, meetings, etc., etc. And networking. So this could mean that family and friends will be brought back together and you'll be reunited with family family members or friends that you haven't seen for a long time because you haven't forgotten them you're bringing them back and celebrating the unity you've also got um, the birds underneath this deck and look this bird has got big shoes on so put on the naughty shoes and organize a party don't feel imprisoned release the past you've learned from the past okay don't listen to gossip that's also a message but the birds also means you're getting news somebody might have flown the coop or left the group well if it's a person that is a gossip monger and they've left the group brilliant keep them out don't let yourself be imprisoned and don't be in your head somebody might give you a message at this gathering that will astound you because 12 is 3 and 3 is creativity so you might get a hint on how to maintain this relationship and give it a chance to grow and or on how to release the ex okay the ex could be a gossip monger so let it go don't pay any attention to that it is safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all that is underneath the deck well that is a bit of news you are lovable just remember sometimes we outgrow a, a, a partner but you found a new one so let the past go you've moved on look at that horse beautiful he's moving on or she's moving on and Cupid is there awesome 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 I love this reading so be careful what you wish for open the doors to positivity and close the doors to negativity the angels are giving you a sacred number balance and you've got 20 here also balance the family is coming back together a new beginning you're leaving a face behind so leave the X release the X that's the past now for the Archangel Michael card you've got a golden card and the golden card is protection and it is depicted in yellow mystery dress in black dress in black so get ready for this beautiful party put your tails on your um, what you want to call the tails if you're a man put your black suit on or put your black dress on that will is you can dress it up or you can dress it down but don't be in mourning so dress it up if you're going to the party it's also sexy black and black is also the uh, the color some people call, don't call it a color but remember it's all the colors of the rainbow the color spectrum and that is black Archangel Michael is presented present at and ask you to call on protective color of black as it means to shield yourself so if you are going to this gathering or this party or this introduction of unity then wear black you can protect yourself and it is elegant I think so from the angel feather oracle deck you have Cherie's angel feather travel plans the angels are here to advise you that travel is coming up for you this may be associated with work or a well earned holiday Wow you might have to travel to to actually go to this union or this party so get ready Be beautiful things are happening I think it is 
amazing. So long you give your relationship a chance, it will go up the next level. And it is already a friendship, then you've got a proper foundation. If it is a new relationship, then no, that make a proper foundation first before you go up to the next level. Learn from your past. I think this is a lovely reading and I hope to see you in the live sessions and I hope you will share uh, with family and friends this video and give us the thumbs up. Take care my darlings, I love you all and be blessed. Have a beautiful remainder of March.